only two days left before the end of election season. Candidates have been campaigning nonstop to vie for Vermonters' votes. And after the big announcement from the FBI about Hillary Clinton's emails, Vermont candidates running for local office say there's a lot to cheer about right now, not just on the national stage, but right here at home, too. The last few days have been very exciting. I feel tremendous momentum. Democrat for Governor Sue Minter says she's enjoying these last few days on the campaign trail encouraging Vermonters to vote. But it's been a long race. 13 months of no idle time. Uh, I have been running this marathon and uh, just learning so much along the way and most importantly understanding more and more of our challenges but also looking for the opportunities. She and many of her fellow Democratic candidates toured 14 spots across eight counties in the last three days, including Waterworks Restaurant and Bar in Winooski and Zero Gravity Brewing in Burlington on Sunday. And while Minter says she's not feeling stressed, others say they're a little nervous for Election Day. I'm feeling anxiety for the closeness of the governor's race, but I'm feeling great about um, the races in general and the quality, the issue oriented campaigns. Focusing on positivity, it's a theme candidate for Lieutenant Governor David Zuckerman says he hopes will continue. So many people care about a range of issues. It's about civility in politics. People are really dismayed with what's happened at the national level. Candidate for Vermont Attorney General T.J. Donovan agrees, saying he understands a lot of people are just ready for elections to be over. So many people have voted early in this state already. That's a good thing. It says to me people really want this over with. But you know what? If you aren't one of those early voters, that's okay. We've got everything you need to inform you about the men and women running for office. Just check MyNBC5.com for candidate profiles, features on ballot items, and of course we'll be keeping a close eye on all the races right up to Election Day. Live in the newsroom, Renee Wonderlake, NBC5 News.